For most Americans, 5 o'clock is dinner time. For these Muslim students at the University of Maryland, it's time to observe the evening prayer Fajr. Although unfamiliar to some, it's no less American. I'm very patriotic. I My parents are very patriotic. And, you know, like, my mom knows, like, every single Christmas carol there is. And, like, it's just, it's sometimes it's shocking to people because they think that, you know, because we look different and we speak a different language. You know, people say, you're not American, you're a terrorist, you're here to take over, you know, America, you know, f rob us of our freedoms, degrade women. Too many to even remember? Yeah. <laughs> the Pew Research Center estimates that 2.6 million Muslims live in the United States, but some think that Muslim and American are mutually exclusive. I'm very cautious. When I hear the, word, the term Muslim, my eyes are open and I want to know. What am I looking at? Am I looking at the lunatic fringe or am I looking at a religion of peace? Although other Americans are wary of the world outside, they're ready to welcome Muslims next door. I'm not saying that, you know, we shouldn't be cautious. A couple of bad apples, it doesn't mean that the whole group of them are, are, are bad. I mean, you know, I'm Cuban myself. I know, I know bad Cubans and I know good Cubans. The Muslim advocacy group CARE says Islamophobia is on the rise. As the 10th anniversary of the 9-11 terrorism attacks nears, some Muslims in Maryland fear the worst is yet to come. I am concerned, I am worried, I am afraid. And there have always been attacks on mosques across the country, on Muslim individuals across the country. So I'm very concerned. However, I believe in America. They're like, oh, terrorism, Muslims, 9-11, Muslims. You know, there's just like this association, you know. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, I feel like there's still some misunderstanding, but this is why we're having events like this. The Imam Yahya Hendi held a forum in Frederick recently to teach his fellow Muslims how to move forward and educate people of all faiths so that they can reach out to help. I grew up in the segregated South. Uh, I grew up in Miami at a time when I went to segregated public schools and the, the country club that was two blocks from where I grew up had no blacks and no Jews allowed, um, even though we live two blocks away. So as a, as a minority, I understand, I do understand and empathize what, uh, with the American Muslims, what they're going through in America. Amina Halem thinks most don't realize that many Muslim Americans bleed and cry red, white, and blue. When 9-11 happened, you know, I went to an entirely Islamic school and, um, we had an evacuation and just, you know, parents came to pick up their kids and you could see like the the nervousness and, you know, the apprehension that people had. We hurt the same way that Americans hurt. For those who don't understand, Muslim students ask their neighbors to take a walk in their shoes. If you are curious about Islam, just ask a friend, you know, just trust me, the, the best thing for Muslims would be for other people to ask ask questions. Don't doesn't matter how weird they sound, how ignorant they sound. Please just ask, ask, ask questions, and we'll be more than happy to try to answer them for you. In College Park, I'm Stephanie Woods for CNS TV.